Let's talk about what happens during an IVF egg retrieval. This might look like a bunch of just gray and black blobs, but I want to go over what we're doing and why we're doing it. The uterus is on the left of the screen and the left ovary is on the right of the screen. We can see a needle here going into each follicle. Those are the sacs that contain the eggs. This patient does have an unusually large number and very carefully going into the follicle and draining the fluid. Now each follicle should have fluid plus an egg. That fluid is then drained into a test tube and the embryologist looks under the microscope to find the eggs. This procedure is done under sedation and typically takes about 15 minutes. You can imagine that around the ovary is bowel, uterus, blood vessels, things we don't want to hit with the needle. It takes precision and expertise. Do you see this little loop of bowel trying to sneak in between the ovary and the uterus? When we're done, the follicles fill up with blood like a bruise. This is what it looks like when we are done. Hoping these eggs go on to make a baby.